All right, so how do you actually become a scientist? And this is really geared towards kids. So if you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Maslach. And I, you know, the really important thing with becoming a scientist is to not give up on yourself. So many times when you're in school, so the biggest thing that you could do is just go to school for a long, long time. And most of us feel like we want to give up on ourselves. It is totally normal to feel like this at any grade that you're in. In fact, I would say it's probably unusual and I would think that you are, are spectacularly unusual if you don't have thoughts that, man, I don't know if I could do this. This is really hard. But what I'd encourage you to do if you wanna become a scientist is get used to feeling like that and get used to keep pushing forward and getting to the moment where you're studying something that's hard. Science has gotten really good. Um, we, we don't know a lot about a lot of things, but we do know a lot. So we do, so we're at this moment where we've accumulated what's called accumulating a lot of knowledge. And that's what scientists do is we accumulate a lot of knowledge. So we have to study all of that stuff. Going back a couple hundred years ago, and learning all the stuff that we've sort of learned and that we think is the most important knowledge and, and put it all in that thinker right there. And so what you have to do is go to school for a, a pretty long time to become a good scientist. And as you're doing that, you start learning all sorts of interesting things. And then as you're doing that, you can start looking at the world in a little bit more of a nuanced way, what's called like nuance, right? So what, you, and what is, that's a big word, nuance. Well, that just means that you can look at something and you can see all the ways that it's different or unique compared to something else. And so a lot of people might look at, you know, a chair and they might say, hey, you know, that's just a chair. It's got four legs. It's got a back. But, you know, a scientist might look at it and say, hmm, how does that function? What does that look like? What does the molecules look like within that chair? why do we actually have four legs and not six legs you know they may ask all sorts of interesting questions and it's important to do that but you know what the the thing is is a lot of people have asked those questions before and we have answers to those and so you have to learn all about those different answers before you can start seeing even more nuances because then it's not like hmm, i wonder why it's got six four legs instead of six legs well then you start thinking well you know, does the shape of the leg matter to why we've got four versus six legs? You know, those kind of questions, that's what we end up doing is getting more and more refined and we start thinking about all these different things on how, um, you know, how unique the world really is. And that's a cool thing is realizing to become a scientist, you're falling in love with the world and you're falling in love you have to really fall in love with what you are doing and what you're about because you need that strength because it is hard i don't think that i have ever experienced you know the moment that it's easy there's one moment that's easy when you have that moment where you're like i get it and then everything sort of clicks and that moment takes five minutes but you know, that moment of uh, those moments before that of like, I can't understand this. I don't get it. it would probably take you, you know, it could take you hours. It could take you days. And many scientists, including myself, it could take years where just you're, you're, you can't figure it out. You can't get it. But then you can get it for a second and then everything comes easy. And so what I'd encourage you to do to become a scientist is really stick to, you know, doing a good job at school and not giving up on yourself. That that fortitude, that strength, that, you know, that character right there is so important. And yet nobody teaches about it. And, and I, I want to change that. I want to make sure that you know that you're special and um, that you have the courage to keep going with this and to keep working at it. Start asking those questions and start believing in yourself. There's lots of people in this world that are going to tell you that your ideas are not good. And you have to be the person as a scientist to stand up and say, hey, my ideas are good and I can do this. Remember that your ideas are good. You are smart and you have to keep going and not give up on yourself. This is going to be hard. I'm going to tell you this right now, but you can do it. All right. With that, give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care. Bye.